So I thought August was done with game collecting, but uh, I stumbled across a bunch of games and I had to get them. Uh, so let's start with, this one is called Mega Bug on, and this game is for the uh, Tandy Color Computer. And the cartridge is a little messed up here, I gotta fix it. Uh, it's, it's on my to-do list, as you can see, it's, it's, it's got this little dust cover that's off track. I'm just gonna have to get in there and pop it back in place. Relatively easy. Um, they don't have like really any fancy logo on it. I mean, uh, cartridge label, they just kinda, this is almost like a shipping label. They just put the color computer kinda red, blue, green on there and dot matrix printer on there. Um, so I got that along with the manual. Um, and a lot of these games, they don't have boxes. They came in clam, sh uh, like uh, plastic shells, like you buy toys. Um, but they had the, uh, they had the manual with it. And I don't have any games for my color computer, so this is my color computer too. So uh, this is my first one, so I'm gonna, like I say, I'm gonna have to fix this. Uh, their cartridges are like welded together. There, I don't see any screws, so it'll be interesting to work on. So Mega Bug for the color computer. Uh, next up, I got new inbox. Uh, even with the Lego figure, uh, Shima Lava's, Lavala's journey. Uh, I wasn't really big on the uh, Shima Lego, but uh, it was really cheap and it was new in box. I don't know if I'm going to open it because uh, I do want to display the the minifig, but I may I may leave it just like that in the box and, and put it on the shelf. Who am I kidding? I play all my games. So this will probably get opened uh, before long and the, the minifig will go on display. So let's put him down there. Next up for the PS2, I got Frogger, the, the Great Quest. Uh, it's only partial on this, but I really... As a collector, I'm more of a game player, so I don't really collect the cases. So this case will probably go away. Uh, and the game will go into my CD storage area only because these things actually do take up a lot of space over time. Um, and I know there's a lot of collectors out there that they keep them all like that and everything. I just don't have the space. Sorry. And then I got... For the PlayStation 2, Guitar Hero Encore Rock of the 80s. Uh, we do play some Guitar Hero in the house. Uh, I have Guitar Hero for the 360, the Wii, and the PS2. I started on the PS2, the 360, I got Rock Band. And now I have, uh, and then on the Wii I have uh, Guitar Hero Aerosmith. So let's get on to the next games. We have Thunderball for the Odyssey 2. I, this is one of those games I don't know anything about, but uh, I'm trying to get, uh, there's not that many games for the Odyssey 2, so maybe one day I'll have a complete collection. So we got Thunderball. Also for the Odyssey 2, we have Cosmic Conflict. So that sounds kind of neat. And these are like actual labels on the back. Uh, it's not on this one, but some of them have, this is actually a serial number for the cartridge. Um, got a little bubbling in the label there, but that's okay. It's old, like me. Uh, next up, Freedom Fighters on the Odyssey 2. Um, I like their cartridges. They're easy to get in and out because of the, the handle and they stack really nicely because uh, you can just move them around with the handles and next up we have computer golf 
uh, it has up to four players, computer golf. Um, and I do like a good game of computer golf. So the next thing, I got, I got to move all these things out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and make my stack of games here again. Slide that out of the way. For my next Odyssey 2 game, Conquest of the World. Uh, this is a combination of board game and a video game. Uh, look at this. These, this label is so nice. And the box itself, when you lift this up, um, it was like never played. I mean, they, all the pieces are still stuck in their holders. And then under that, we have, this does come out, but I don't want to force it. I'm picking it up once. There it goes. I just, it, there's a piece of tape down there to get stuck to. Look at the manual. It, this beautiful manual that a, a game developers today. This is this is what how to play the game. It is it's just very well done manual. Um, just really great art. To me, this is art. Um, when they did this stuff back in the day on how to play the game, uh, you have. I guess it's a global conquest. I haven't actually looked into what the game is about. But I guess it's kind of like a a risk game where you try to take over the world. Um, but you do it. And then these are ma these are actual magnets. Uh, for some of the stuff you use in the board game, there's a, there's a slew of them. I guess from them parts, and then you have the actual game board itself. I'm hoping to be able to get all this in there um, because it is just crazy. Look at look at this. This is just nuts. Uh, let me bring this back here. I think it's just this board game. This is my second box game like this from the Odyssey Two. Uh, my other one is. The uh, Quest for the Rings, which is kind of a role-playing Dungeons & Dragons uh, type game. And it has exactly the same layout, the, the, the gold manual and everything. It's, these are just super games. I really love these. I think there's one more in the series, but Quest of the World, um, and the box is in really good condition. Uh, I couldn't pass this up uh, to add to my collection because this will this will go on display. Uh, eventually, I will talk the misses into playing this with me, and we may record that gameplay because it's both, like I say, it's a board game and... A video game so it's it's a truly interactive game so there we go quest of the world uh, and it's just that's just awesome it really is it's, it's, that's just great uh, so that's it for my game collecting for August uh, I've gotten a lot of games this month uh, being able to go back out in the wild uh, sporadically. I don't go to a lot of different, a lot of big stores like I used to, and I only hit them up, I'm in and I'm out. So I might be missing some things. That's why I kind of rotate back in and out uh, and try to catch them when they're not busy. But have you played any of these games? Um, let me know what you think. Uh, I really don't know many of these games uh you know the guitar hero frog i got i got an idea about uh i've seen megabug played 
uh, on the uh, color computer group that I'm in. And it actually looks like an interesting Pac-Man-esque kind of game. Um, and I'm really looking forward to playing the Odyssey 2 games, uh, even though they're kind of rudimentary. When the Odyssey 2 came out, they were actually pretty impressive. Um, so, And then the Atari kind of surpassed them really quickly, but that's okay. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't already done so, also please like, share, and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a wonderful day.